Hello and welcome to another video. Today, uh, guys, I you may have noticed that when I walked outside, you you saw this. Um, I have something to show you. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Okay, I'll show you guys the aftermath of what I've done here in in a little bit. I, I just want to show you guys what I've done and what I've completed in the time that I was away and the time that I realized that. Um, it wasn't viable to do whatever I was doing on camera because of, of the uh, the massive amount of time it was going to take. So uh, we're going to take a look at it. We're going to take a look at what I've done. So my original plan, which was outlandish, was to do a 250 by 250 square. Now just imagine the 250 by 250 square. So you're seeing a giant square right now. This square itself is 80 by 80. I was going to go to 100, but I got to 80, and I got really depressed because it was still I still had tw like 20 more blocks to go out. So I decided I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to make an 80 by 80, and I, I've scaled down. I've scaled down the entire build itself so that it should still work. The initial build or the entire build that is supposed to be in the middle is the same size. So everything in the middle, so the initial build of it, the castle and everything, was going to be 25 by 25, and then the wall around it was going to be at the 50 by 50 marker, which is these two squares right here in the middle, which is which is really good, which is really good. So th those areas, I'm not worried about whatsoever. Like, these areas, I'm totally fine with. Um, there, There's no need to, like, scale them back. Like, they can be perfectly fine. It was kind of just this extra area, so I planned on making, like, giant pools of water so instead of them being like 10 wide what they are right now they were going to be like 50 or no yeah they were going to be like 50 wide because this thing was going to be 250 by 250 obviously so i was going to make it absolutely massive so i was going to you know put this crap in here and it was going to be this giant thing and then on the outside of the water was going to be like wheat farms all around so it was going to be crazy crazy <laughs> Um, that's not the case anymore. That, that That's not the case. The case now is that it's 80 by 80. There's going to be this. I'm going to put in bridges as well in the middle to get up to the castle um, in the middle. And uh, bridges on all four sides, I should say, because this is the capital, really. This is where the king is going to live or the person of interest that is the la land owner of everything. He's going to live here in the middle. So this is my middle of the square. You can kind of see how big this thing was. Uh, I... It took forever. It literally took forever. The amount of dirt that I had to use, I, I want to kind of explain that to you real quick. So the, the amount of dirt that I had to use was a um, 80 by 80, right? So you take 80 by 80, you multiply that. I had to put down, I would say, 95% of the dirt that was here. So 95% of 80 by 80. I didn't do that calculation. I'm still not going to do it. But I am going to tell you that an 80 by 80 square needs 6,400 pieces of dirt. Now you multiply that by 100, or you divide that by 64, you get 100. That's 100 stacks of 64 dirt. Um, that took me over four hours at least over four hours to get this whole thing done. And then not to mention this extra dirt that had to go down to make things look okay and not look like it's gi a giant floating block in the middle of the world. So that was also done. Um, the main thing is that it just took five ever and I had to do all of these like calculations and making sure of how much dirt I was getting from each each single uh, shovel and it was it was a painstaking process insanely painstaking but i'm done i am done with it and we're making another video so the next plan of action is to obviously put the castle in the middle but we kind of have to think about the castle itself what's the castle going to be made out of well i was planning on doing the castle out of sandstone uh, but I am not sure if there's any desert areas around me. Obviously, there's areas where there's sand on the edge of the land, but that's definitely not going to be enough. I think that's desert right over there. Is that not, or is that cobblestone? That's cobblestone. Um, I might have, I might have a look around. Oh my gosh, it's on the map now. <laughs> look how big it is. <laughs> that whole thing. That's insane how big that is. Um, 
I don't know if there's a desert around me anywhere. I may do some checking around off camera to see if there is a desert around. But I was thinking about what we're going to do first is maybe build a wall. The wall around the castle first. So the, the, the wall around the castle is going to be made out of stone. So to do this process, I will show you what I will what I was doing. We'll show you the aftermath of we'll show you the aftermath of the uh, the mess that I had to do to get all of that dirt, the six thousand four hundred blocks of dirt. Um, it was mainly this um, entire area right here. It didn't go up because that was already cobblestone, like right there, like where my cursor is pointing. But everything down from there was all dirt. Um, everything in here this is where i got probably the back half of the dirt uh the first half was over here in this area getting all of the dirt out of this entire area as well um i dug it out but I, as i was digging down obviously you can see that there's a cave so i kind of had to move i didn't want to be over the cave anymore <laughs> so i kind of wanted to, to get out of there and, and do something a little bit different so i went over here and I didn't find a cave, so I was able to just keep going down and digging the dirt. So, now we need to talk about the whole process of getting the castle and the wall in. So, we've talked about the sandstone, but the wall itself, Serfro says hi, he's in, the, he's in the world. I didn't really want to edit his voice in here for this episode. I just kind of wanted to do a little talk through with you guys and make sure that you guys understood what was happening. Um, but, I, I want to make this place a mine where I'm at right now, okay? I want to make this place a mine. Obviously, I've destroyed the land enough to the point where I think I need to make this place a mine. So I think what I'm going to be doing is for the next couple of episodes, you may see me mining a little bit and kind of giving updates. These next, I, I would say these next episodes, you may see me doing updates and such, maybe like an update on how I'm going to style the wall or how I'm going to um, get all the dirt or where I've gotten all the sandstone. Um... Those are kind of going to be the episodes for a little bit. I think once I have kind of a basis in the mining, I'm going to be maybe ahead on the builds, and I'm not going to... I don't think I'm ever going to build something this big uh, as one thing. I mean, maybe like small towns might work. <laughs> like small towns might work with this with this uh, process. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I can show you the amount of wood I have because I've had to cut out trees. So I have legit hundreds of wood to kind of get a basis for the mining and the expedition that I'm going to be doing. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start here. And since I've gotten all the dirt out, I can actually just start with pickaxes right away. And I'm going to start going down by fours all the way to bedrock constantly. In this entire area, I'm just going to go all the way down on fours. So over time, this will be just a giant pit, a pit. <laughs> um, there would be one ladder going all the way up. There'd be torches and everything within here so that I'm not going to have a monster fest. But once this kind of turns into a pit and maybe hopefully when we're done with the castle and the entire build over there itself, then we can kind of move back over here and then we can create a mining base. So it doesn't look like a little dirt shed. It's going to be like a big mining base where I have a bunch of chests where and signs where I can deposit certain materials into certain chests and have basically an archive of chests that where all of my materials are going to go and then once I have all those materials right then it, it's going to be a little bit easier to progress maybe with the other builds throughout the world you know I'm not going to have to go through this whole process that I'm having to go through on off the bat off the initial bat um, this will be easier I'll be able to get resources better I'll be able to get iron a lot of iron I'll be able to get redstone, I'll be able to get gold, I'll be able to get basically everything that I'm going to need to make kind of cool builds, but right now I'm kind of at the start of everything, so it's it's not really going to work that well. Um, it, it's, it really isn't going to work very well if I'm just doing constant uh, videos of me just mining or me just digging dirt. That wasn't fun. I know it wasn't fun. It, it wasn't the greatest time to watch editing either, uh, but that that's kind of the plan right now. That, that really is the plan. I, I just want to get to the next stage so periodically i'll bring in another video it'll be the same same process of the uploads like they'll come up uh, at the same time it's just that i'm definitely gonna have to spend a lot of time on minecraft <laughs> for a little bit or for for a majority of the time that, that it's gonna take to get everything built that i need to get built so um that's basically 
all I have for this episode. I really don't have a whole lot. It was mainly just just updating you on what has been done. The giant square has been built, so we can now start to mine, get cobblestone, and start making this giant castle. And it's going to be actually really, really cool. I'm really excited for it. I really want to make this castle. It's going to be really super cool. Um, I'm also I was also thinking about maybe this. Is that an anesthesiite or whatever it is? Um, I don't know. I wasn't. I, I don't know what that is. Making the castle out of out of this. That's quartz. This is that's bone. What the heck? What in the heck? What in the heckin? Yeah. So making it out of polished diorite. I, I I was thinking about that as well because that would maybe look okay. But I I kind of wanted to go with the sandstone play because the sandstone. You know, I can make soothe, smooth sandstone and this sandstone, so I can make two different variants of the sandstone, and it could actually look really, really cool. I'm still not sure about it. I'll think about it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I know that I'm going to make the wall out of stone bricks. The wall is going to be basically made out of stone bricks, some buttons, and uh, some stone brick slabs, as well as stone brick stairs. So it'll make it'll kind of look really really neat. I'm not gonna make this place blocky. It's gonna actually look really good. I just kind of have to figure out all of these things off camera before I get going because obviously um, it's nighttime and I need to go to bed. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you like to. I will see you next episode.